as we've seen that companies are focusing on few topics, we also see that they're really pr focusing primarily on what we've called values or let's say uh, numeric values uh, or, or levels. So it's very much a performance related approach to how much have they, um, uh, when it comes to emissions, how, what is the level of emissions that they have, um, that they have reached? And when it comes to energy, for example, what is that level of energy efficiency? It's very focused on numerical values and the performance of what they've achieved. And we think that there is a broader way of looking at ESG um, effort and performance uh, than only looking at the numerical values achieved. So what we've listed here are some of the actual metrics that we've seen included in compensation systems. Um, but when we look at the metrics that we've reviewed as part of this ESG framework, there are really so many other types of metrics. So we've, uh, we've talked about these 1200 metrics that we've gone through uh, as part of this review. And when we look at the number that actually fall into these numerical values, it's less than half. Uh, so it's you know, of the 1,200, less than 500, which fall into this category of value. The rest are what we've put into now create categories that we've created called policy or strategy, programs, initiatives, reporting and audit. So really when a company is looking to implement ESG in their company, you really start with you know, the policy strategy. Um, so really defining that, uh, identifying that priority as a strategy, creating a policy or programs or initiatives, whatever it may be in that particular company, you implement the plan and then you come to a performance value, you report it, uh, and maybe there's also some auditing. Um, so I think that you know, when we look at values only, we're really limiting ourselves uh, to really the performance that a company has achieved, but where that stands in relation to their broader program, they may be in the beginning of implementing a priority where maybe assessing the effort going into developing a policy or strategy may be, may be more relevant than the actual value achieved. If a company is further along in the process, then the value that they achieved should actually be a bit stronger. Um, you want to make sure that that reporting is, is a thorough, frequent, uh, and audited. And so we see that uh, you know, for companies that are further along in its particular ESG priority, that then there are other areas that could be included. And the, these are areas that are uh, also being evaluated by the rating agencies and other providers. So they're looking not only at the actual values, but actually much broader. And I think that much broader picture is uh, one that focuses more on uh, you know, that overall effort of a company. And so how can we assess the ESG priorities and effort that a company is putting in uh, beyond just looking at the actual numerical values uh, or performance that's been achieved. And we see this opportunity really in two areas. One is by including more metric types. So as I've said, we see this range from policy to audit um, as uh, metrics that you can include. And the other is then to go deeper. So going beyond the topics of, let's say, emissions or diversity, but really including more of those ESG topics um, that are aligned to your company's strategic priorities uh, and also those topics where you um, are active and can communicate uh, in ESG performance. Music